Good day everyone. Today we have the 2024 Toyota Race 1.2G and this is going to be a full in-depth review of the race. So let's go ahead and start. Now the Toyota Race comes with your keyless entry system. So uh, with the key fob around the vehicle, you could lock and unlock the doors just by pressing these lines right over here. So the side mirrors automatically fold if it's locked. And to unlock, just press it again. There we go. Now on the inside, you are uh, greeted with plastic materials on the door sidings, some uh, pop-ups of leather inserts, and your silver accents on the door handle right here. You have on the seats, you have your recliner, your height adjustment, and your seat position control right here on the bottom part of the seat. This is covered in a seat cover, and you have a red stitching right here on the actual seat, and it is a cloth material. Now with a key fob inside the vehicle, you could start the accessories just by pressing this push button right here. And once more for ignition. And to start the engine, just put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. Now on the inside of the Toyota Race, you have a leather steering wheel, you have side extensions for better grip, and white stitching or gray stitching I would say around the steering wheel. Now on the controls right here, you have your volume control, your selector for the gauge right there which we will tackle on later, and your controls for the infotainment system. But before we go and check out the interior, let's go and check out the exterior first by turning on the headlights. This one has auto mode as well. You have fog lights and your hazards. Now all windows are electrically powered and only the driver's side window is automatic up and down. In a world where majority of the automotive consumers prefer efficiency and conveniency, the compact SUVs are now starting to dominate the market, and Toyota will always be part of the game. And with the compact SUV segment, they have released the Toyota Race. The Toyota Race is manufactured by Daihatsu with the name Daihatsu Rocky, and also co-produced by Subaru with the name Rex. The Toyota Race has huge similarities with its cousins the Toyota Velos and the Toyota Wego, having almost the same looks of the front dashboard. This is because the two mentioned models are also manufactured by Daihatsu. It's a very good move for Toyota to be collaborating with these big manufacturers in order to produce vehicles that can be very affordable to the market. And with that, the Toyota Race has been a success in the Philippines. I'm pretty sure wherever you live, it's impossible not to spot a race. The race is a complete daily vehicle and ticks all the needs of a consumer. It is affordable, it's efficient, it has good ground clearance, it has modern entertainment system, LED lights, reverse camera, and almost everything you need on a modern vehicle is here on the race. And the best thing about it is that you can get all of these just under the million peso mark. If you're here watching this video and still having doubts of getting one, then I would highly recommend you on confirming your purchase. The race wouldn't give you that adrenaline on fast corners and quick accelerations, but would rather give you the fun on having a road trip with your friends and do what it needs to do with ease. And let's go and check out the engine. Now 
the Toyota Race comes with two engine options. The top of the line model comes with a 1.0 turbocharged engine and all other variants come with a 1.2 liter 3 cylinder engine. This G variant comes with the inline 3 cylinder 1.2 liter dual overhead cam engine which produces 88 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 100 newton meters of torque at 4500 rpm. It is mated with a continuous variable transmission with manual mode. It has a fuel tank capacity of 36 liters with a mixed fuel consumption rating of 18.9 kilometers per liter. It's pretty good for an SUV. Now, let's uh, give her a few revs and check how the engine sounds. Okay, so exterior is now done. Let's go and check out the interior. Let's first turn off the headlights and the hazards. Now we're done with the steering wheel earlier. Let's go and check out the equipments right over here. So first and foremost, you have your CVT automatic transmission. You have your sport mode with uh, manual shiftability. This doesn't have paddle shifters, just so you know. And on reverse, you have your reverse backup camera with your guidelines as well. Handbrake. And a slot here probably for your cell phones. And over here is another storage area. Probably for your coins or you could probably purchase an aftermarket wireless charger just to put your uh, phone uh, charging while on the go. But if you don't want the wireless charging because of its slow charging capabilities, you also have your USB input right over here. And also the ever famous cigarette plug lighter or cigarette plug uh, DC uh, plug. Now in here, you have your air conditioning control. So it's very basic. It's not a dual zone climate control, but it has automatic mode as well. So you have temperature control, Right now, it's set at 27 degrees Celsius. AC button, the circular button, and your rear defogger. Right over here, the left knob is for the fan speed. Now, the air conditioning vents are plain and simple. You have silver accents all around the uh, air conditioning vents, which gives the highlight of the overall dashboard. And here, this comes standard for all Toyota Raze models. This one is your infotainment system. Let's go and check it out. So uh, you are greeted with all the features that this one has. So you have telephone, you have radio and Bluetooth audio of course, USB via the USB input right over here and iPod. And as you can see, it also has Apple CarPlay, which uh, I think five years ago, Apple CarPlay only shows on high-end vehicles like the BMWs, Audis, and all those uh, luxury vehicles. But now, even with the Toyota Race, which is below 1 million pesos, you get Apple CarPlay built in your car. So let's check out the sound. Quite good. Okay, now here uh, on the gauge, this is a full digital gauge right over here. You only get this digital gauge on the G model and on the top of the line turbo variant of the race. Any variant lower than the G model will get the analog cluster. But we have the digital, digital gauge here, so let's go and check out 
what uh, features this one has. So first and foremost, this one has your uh, RPM gauge right over here, your temperature from the outside, your odometer, which this one has 5,318 currently, and uh, your analog clock, your digital speed right over there, and your fuel gauge right on the lower right side of the vehicle. You also have your date as well right there. And let's go and check out the other settings of this one. So you have your range as well, your uh, average kilometers per liter or your average fuel consumption uh, of your ride and you have your current fuel consumption. This So this is an active uh, fuel consumption rating. So this one is the messages. So this one will show messages depending if uh, something you need to know about the vehicle needs to be uh, informed to you just like uh, preventive maintenance services or uh, check engine malfunction it will show up on this portion right over here now on the settings area you have a bunch of settings for you to play with now the display brightness right over here speaks for itself you can adjust the brightness of the digital gauge depending on your preference time and date and designs now this designs right here you could change actually your uh, gauge right over here and right now we are we are on display 3 why don't we try display 1 and now it's changed to this one so you have the rpm meter right over here your uh, temperature outside is still there and your odometer and let me try revving this up. Looks nice. And now we are currently in power mode and we turn that off. It turns into a blue uh, ambient a tone right there which gives you like the uh, uh, which gives you the feel of having uh, economy or economic mileage. But when you go in power mode, it turns orange giving you that sporty feel on the gauge now let's check the other settings right here so you got uh, settings for the eco indicator light average fuel reset after refueling a lot of settings for you to play with for this vehicle and the buzzer sound also you could change the turn signal tone so for example this is the turn signal tone type number three so if you hear the turn signal sound you could change it to this one sounds like a Honda and this one this sounds like a Mitsubishi to be honest and number three I think is the best one and opening sound volume this is the opening sound earlier when I started the engine so you could just adjust the volume right there notification day settings so you could set some uh, notifications depending on the date let's try setting one category uh, let's say it's my birthday and on October if you comment down below my birthday you win something from me <laughs> okay so let's say October 22 now when October 22 uh, arrives or the date is October 22 when I start the vehicle it will greet me happy birthday on this gauge right here which is a nice little neat feature that you can play with and there's a lot more stuff you could put in here so it's just not birthday you have anniversary here so that you won't forget your wife's anniversary you have car inspection day maintenance day and a bunch of stuff you could put in here vehicle settings door lock so lots of uh, settings for the door locks again this features right over here only exists on high-end vehicles before the wiper the turn signal so you have the three times flashing function so this is uh, I'll give you a sample of that one so usually when we do uh, turn the signal we push it all the way but with this function turned on you just press it like this sorry and it will 
beep three times on in the right side this is without locking the stock right over there so that's the function of that one usually we use this on changing lanes so language and reset settings is there so that's about it for the digital gauge now uh, we have nothing more to tackle on here but uh, just so to let you know we have a cup holder right on each side glove compartment your standard console and on the left side you have a bunch of uh, slots right here for any added features you want to put but this one has a traction control so TRC off TRC on window controls you have your side mirror controls as well uh, side mirrors are automatic can be uh, folded if you want to and right here on the top you have your rear view mirror you have your uh, seat belt indicators for the back seats your lights map lights right here and you also have your vanity mirror just in case you need to look at yourself and it does not have a built-in light unfortunately but you have your map lights right here to help you on the night Now this little thing, it looks like it's very small on the inside, but Toyota's developers or engineers are very smart to include some small pockets for your convenience. On the passenger side, you have a storage right over here. And you could put your shoes right over there if you want to. Let me try my shoe. And it snugs right in. So I think that's about it on the front cabin of the race. Now let's go check out the rear seats. Now on the back part of the seats or the back part of the vehicle, you have the same door sidings uh, panel, but this one, they removed the silver accent on the rear doors. But they still have the chrome accents on the door handles. You have cup holder here and your door speakers. Now, knee room is quite good. Leg room as well. You have tons of uh, headroom for this uh, type of vehicle. But on the back, you see nothing much to be honest there's no uh, USB chargers in here no uh, cigarette plug in here but probably for the turbo variant I'm not so sure there's a slot right over here probably for USB input on the top of the line model but nonetheless you could also put that as an aftermarket product but nonetheless you could add USB charger in there uh, through the aftermarket products in here, you have your center light. Three headrests for the back seats. This one has ISOFIX capability as well for your child seats. And nothing much on the back seats. Very simple on the back, purely for passengers. Now here's the view of the front cabin of the 2024 Toyota Rays. For me, the interior is very 2024. There's not much glam on the the features or the tech in here or any lights that would you know you know would make it more attracting. But you get what you need, you get what you paid for, and I think all the necessities of the modern day driving is already here on the race. So what more could you ask for? Now for me, the, the interior is very similar to the Toyota 
uh, Velos as you can see and probably the Toyota Wego as well so probably the, uh, this is because of the same manufacturing but overall it's one of the factors uh, that gives the Toyota Rays a very good price point and gives us a better costing and better price for competitiveness as well and let's check out the cargo area electronic switch and your camera is right over here as well now on the back you have plenty of space for this kind of vehicle you, you have here my backpack and you still have tons of space your tools to be put in there and you have your ambient light right here it's a good amount of space for this uh, size and right on the bottom part you have your spare tire as well now the spare tire is the actual rims that comes off uh, with the rays so it's a good thing that they did not uh, put the reserve tire as the donut tires and they give the actual rims on the outside which is nice now if you need more space you could actually fold down the seats like so Fold them flat, 60-40 seat configuration in the back, and you have more space to put on your long items such as the surf surfboards or flat screen TVs for the Christmas. You could put it all right here in the rays with no problems at all. So I hope you enjoyed the full tour review of the 2024 Toyota Rays 1.2 G CVT. There's a lot more to come, so please do subscribe, share, and like my videos. This is Patrick Reyes TV, signing out.